Gregory Hefley may be a wimpy kid, but in my opinion, Rowley Jefferson is the true beta male. Aside from Greg, Rowley really has no other friends. And this is confirmed by the fact that he's going to be Scotty, a six-year-old's, assistant in a school talent show. Rowley never stands up for himself, even though he bears the brunt of most of Greg's jokes. And when someone consistently disrespects your father for their personal humor, and shows absolutely no point in caring, you would think that Rowley would stand up for himself. But Rowley doesn't do that, simply because he is too weak. In fact, he's probably going to be reliant on his parents for the rest of his life. Especially because Rowley has had everything handed to him, and he has won absolutely nothing. And his parents are going to stick with Rowley all the way through, even when he grows up and gets a job. Not only is Rowley used like a pack animal, but when he finally gets a girl, she just walks all over him. He starts changing his appearance, he starts going over to her neighborhood and walking to school with her, all to get some sort of validation. Rowley acts incredibly immature and takes his frustration out on others when someone likes to bring up a meaningful point of criticism of how Abigail treats him. And because Rowley has no spine, no backbone, he was basically just a rebound for Abigail. You would think after such a rough patch that Rowley would start going to the gym or start, you know, improving things about himself. But he doesn't. In fact, he becomes even more of a coward just by looking at some drawings. Rowley Jefferson is scared of a drawing that features gummy worms on a person. I will admit, there have been a couple of times where Rowley has disagreed with Greg, or hung Greg out to dry for the right reason. But those moments are too far and few in between. I mean, he even narks out Greg instead of facing the consequences of vandalizing the school walls. Rowley is just such a wuss too, as he's actually convinced by a teacher that rock and roll is going to ruin his brains. Even though they weren't actually listening to music and they were just trying to shake headphones off their head in the fastest amount of time. Diary of a Wimpy Kid Double Down also revealed the fact that Rowley is scared of the Spine Ticklers Junior series, which are supposed to be for kindergartners. This man even wrote a letter stating that he is complaining that the book he read, which was for the Spine Ticklers kindergartners, was way too scary. WAY in all caps. I mean, even in the Diary of a Wimpy Kid Do-It-Yourself book, this guy eats cherry lip gloss, sleeps in his parents' bed, and gets nightmares from pictures he's drawn. On top of that, just look at his room. Stuffed animals, a poster that says be nice with some animated cartoon figure, what appears to be like a doll of Joshi, or even a Ken doll, and model airplanes hanging from the top of the ceiling. I mean, this is like a little kid's room, man. You know, maybe one day Rowley is going to become super tall and buff, but until that day comes, he's probably going to be still wearing a half of a best friend's forever necklace.